Commitment 2020 coverage now. A Forsyth County Republican with nearly three decades of service on a school board and then in the state house wants to head back to Raleigh for another term. Donnie Lambeth is running for a fifth term in the North Carolina House, the 75th district, which covers eastern Forsyth County. Our Bill O'Neill is in Kernersville with what Lambeth is saying still needs to be done. Donnie Lambeth is the Republican's go to guy on Medicaid. He says the party recruited him because of his background in health care. So why didn't Republicans support his alternative Medicaid plan? But Raleigh's very frustrating. Lambeth says when it comes to health care, there's a knowledge gap in the legislature. The former school board chairman says he's tried to educate lawmakers. If you look at the makeup of the General Assembly, there's a lot of lawyers. There's some retirees that look like me that's been in other fields. But health care is not well represented in Raleigh. Lambeth spent 40 years at Wake Forest Baptist Hospital. It says the biggest reason why North Carolina lawmakers haven't expanded Medicaid is risk. So what is the risk and why can't you convince the people on your side that take the, the, the plunge? I think the, the uncertainty in Washington about Medicaid and health care, and if that 90% piece goes to 60% or 50%, and I think that's the concern. What I've tried to convince them is, let's take advantage of it while it exists, mm -hmm. and then we the bill that I proposed actually would make adjustments if the law changes. It sounds reasonable to me. Why? Why aren't you convincing your colleagues uh, to make that move? It's a tough one. Uh, you know, it's amazing that I've gotten so much support across the state from chambers, uh, business community. I mean, I hear, I get calls routinely from the business community saying, why can't you move this plan forward? Lambeth says he believes his plan, known as Carolina Cares, has the votes needed to pass the House, but not enough votes in the Senate. And it will take a little bit more work to try to convince them that this is a good thing to do in North Carolina. Is it them or is it Senator Berger you got to win over? <laughs> well, they're senators and uh, not single out anybody. Uh, I think they do th take a lot of their marching orders from Senator Berger. And Lambeth says he needs to convert less than five senators to pass his Medicaid plan. If I could tell them for sure that this is the rules that Washington's laid out and this is the way it's going to be for the next five or ten years, it's hard to do that. Lambeth is facing his first ever primary challenger, Jacob Baum, a newcomer is running against him. In Kernersville, I'm Bill O'Neill, WXII 12 News.